good. Can you feel it, Southern California? It all comes down to the final race of the night, August 21st, 2010. Flying Mike Faria has chosen the pole. Come on, let's make some noise for Flying Mike Faria! Now, you gotta be pumped up, man. This is a big race, the Jack Milne Cup, and you're on the pole. Yeah, that always helps out. The uh, groove did come up, so it's all gonna be in the start here. And, you know, after the start, just four good laps. Uh, we'll see what happens here. My Matson uh, radiator bike's running really good with my mechanics, Robert, uh, Johnny, and uh, Jeff there. So we're looking for a win, too, you know? All right, go get him. All right. All right, flying Mike Faria. He'll start from the inside pole position. All right, lined up in the number two slot. He's a Hollywood stuntman when he's not racing Speedway. He's also a promoter. Friday night's out at the Inland Empire at the Orange Hill Fairgrounds. Give it up for the mad dog, Sean McConnell. How's it going? Are you ready to go? Yeah, I think so. I got to show these guys around the track tonight. So uh, if I can get one more win, I'll, uh, I'll take it home. How's it going out there on Friday nights at the, in Purdue? Well, if you guys haven't been out, we have the very best racetrack in the world. Well, you know, maybe next to Costa Mesa. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, Friday nights, you guys come out. Um, it's awesome track, and uh, we, we don't start till 8 o'clock. So please come out and uh, support Speedway. All right, go get him. Thank you. All right, Sean Mad Dog McConnell. He's doing some gardening right now in the number two slot. The next one is another legend. Come on, give it up for number 11, Bobby Boogaloo Schwartz. How you doing? Good, Harry. I'd just like to thank everybody for coming. I'd like to thank uh, Steve Wells for building me a great engine. And I'd like to thank uh, Warren Russell for all the sponsorship. And I'd like to thank Bobby, my son, for coming. And uh, Raleigh and his chick are here. And Mike Alberton from Oakley. Are right, you ready? And Kenny. Yeah, I'm ready. You've been riding well. they picking up some main events. Yeah, well, you got to win a few, lose a lot. <laughs> all right, go get them, Boogaloo. Thank you. All right. And welcome to Sunny Nutter and all the trailblazers and all the old timers tonight. Thanks for coming. All right, Boogaloo. All right, he's going to start in the third spot. In the fourth spot, it's going to be Battle and Buck Blair. You ready? Heck yeah, I want to throw a shout out to uh, Venus and Laura and all the people up there rooting for me. Thank you. And the fans, the best fans in the world are at Costa Mesa. I want to thank Premier Gear. And Steve and Ray and Sammy Tanner for the Uriah Helmet and Black Flies. All right, well said. Go get them. Thanks. All right, battling Buck Blair. Now on the outside, second generation Speedway rider. He had to fight to get in this one. Number 25, Jim, the little animal fishback. You've had to work tonight. I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> yeah, you know, I haven't had to do this in a while. But uh, we made it in and just uh, coming out of gate five, you see what happens. Your dad's still been riding. He, he tried to ride Wednesday night. <laughs> no, he did good. But, uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens. All right, go get him. Thank you very much. All right, the little animal, Jimmy Fish, back. This is so cool. You got Faria. He's a legend. You got McConnell. He's a legend. You got Boogaloo in this one, and he's a legend. And it comes down to this, the 2010 Jack Milne Cup main event. Flying Mike Faria on the pole. Sean McConnell in two. Bobby Boogaloo Schwartz in three. Buck Blair in four. Jim Fish back on the outside. Let's load him in and let's get it on. Red, red, red. And Faria went, oh, okay. All right, referee Brian Galvin did not like the start. Brian, but Calvin, what's going on with that call here regarding Faria? Actually, it wasn't regarding Faria. It was regarding the rest of the riders. All of them were moving the tapes. It was an unsatisfactory start in my mind. So uh, I had a second to think about it after what I saw and decided to ride it, do it all over again. So we're going to load them back in again. Now McConnell doing more gardening. In fact, he's down on his hands and knees doing gardening. All right. Who wants it? Who wants the Jack Milne Cup?
Checkered flag! McConnell! Yeah, that's right. The defending champion coming in wins it two years in a row for Sean Mad Dog McConnell. Boogaloo Bobby Schwartz to congratulate him. Bobby Schwartz was second. Followed by Blair, followed by fourth was uh, Fishback and Faria at the back. So two years in a row for Sean Mad Dog McConnell. Catherine Armina, uh, the granddaughter of Jack Milne is the, the trophy girl and she'll be making her way out to the infield. We are definitely talking to the Mad Dog who has won this event twice. Yeah, two in a row, two in a row. That's uh, pretty lucky, I'm happy, happy to do it. I mean, you know, Jack Mills, the guy. I mean, you know, we all aspire to be him, and uh, I, I'm far away short, but at least I got to carry his cup a little bit. Now, you are a great uh, uh, Friday night promoter. You have one mains event there. As a matter of fact, you did a double header, but this has got to be your home. This is really yeah. one hell of a track. I mean, I was fortunate I, I, to win a handicap and a scratch on my own track, and I'm the only guy to do it in two years. That's pretty cool, but, you know, Coast Mesa is my home. I, I, and, and realistically, I, we're pretty sure I have more laps here than anybody in the history of the sport. You know, more than Bobby, because he was gone, you know, and I started early, so, you know, I should win a little bit here. I got a lot of practice. Now, uh, we know you're not an old man, but by the same token, it don't get any easier. How's it going? How long can you keep this pace? This was a cakewalk, Howie. Piece, you know, nothing. <laughs> well, we you know, know those are all lightweight. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I really have no idea. You know, I did an interview when I was like 25 at Ascot, and they asked me how long I was going to do this. And I said, well, I probably got a couple years left. You know, 51, uh, my whole family's behind me. My dad's still in the pits. My wife likes the racing. I really don't know. I have no idea. I would have never thought I'd do it this long. But, you know, I mean, if I can still win, I want to do it. I, I don't want to hold on till I'm like an also ran, you know. Like, if I can't win, I don't want to be here. You're not an also ran holding that trophy, but well, not yet. You know, it's but you know, the window's getting smaller, obviously. Now we want to thank you. You are one of the official uh, Raz Cam riders. Your footage is really outstanding. Well, Do you credit that toward your experience in the industry? Uh, maybe a little, because I know I have the camera. You know, I do a lot of camera bike stuff, and you know, the way I ride the bike is how the camera needs to be. So yeah, maybe a little bit of that, and I don't know. It's well, you're very good, and we thank you. Well, no, thank you. Keep coming out to Speedway. And don't forget Friday night. Yeah, you know, you got to come to IMS. It's like the coolest track in the world. Well, oh, close. <laughs>